Okay. Down we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of these little guys right now so they don't kill us. Good idea. Okay. So in a hardwood patch, it's just, you've gotta look for every reaction. It's start annihilating stuff. where if I sent this straight up there into that timber it could easily take one of those alders sideways and wipe out the line you're going what you know what I mean 
Every tree's got to be looked at. Like this so it's tree. It's got to go kind of up there. Well, I, I, I'm going to put it over there. There's the hole. Look for the hole. There is no hole there. Friends, good morning. How's everybody? I hope well. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, hi, kitty. I think the cat wants out. Let's go let him out. Either that, or he's on to me about food, because I did feed him pretty early. Oh, looks like my wife's home. Oh, he's running. No, he's gone. He's running away. There's my wife. She went down to the market to get some tomatoes. Friends, listen. Thank you so much for just being you, simply being you, and choosing, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, choosing the positive way you know you the comment section friends is how about ben Askren, eh oh, did you see that poor bugger take it in the head oh that ufc boy it's it's exciting stuff sometimes i'm all over the place right now look at the size of that fir tree down there those are volunteers see that see that little one right there those are volunteers how'd you make out babe just miraculously oh good good veggies yeah, let's see what my wife got. She brought some veggies home. Bought these at the 49 because they don't sell old. So okay, those are organic? No, they're just from the, ah. or from the grocery store. Let's look. I was just doing a, a video to explain some stuff. Ooh. So I got Rita. She likes pretzels. Yeah. Oh, you got her one of those pretzels. Oh, she threw in an extra one. Look Where? Look at that. Homemade pretzels. Oh. Rita loves them. She Home does, doesn't them. she? Yeah, Rita really likes them. I don't particularly like them, You friends. don't like pretzels. No, I get enough carbs. Two bunches of carrots. Oh, dear. Big bag of local blueberries. Oh, I'm going in for that right away. Did you get a little? Giant oh, radishes. Oh, my God, friends, look at the size of those radishes. Beautiful grape tomatoes, and I forgot my produce bags. I have new produce bags. Where? So they're like mesh. Yeah. Reusable. Where are they? They're somewhere. They're somewhere, friends. <laughs> They're in my car. Oh, okay. Look at mini cucumbers, locally Ooh. grown. All this stuff locally grown. Yeah. Beautiful big tomato. Do you know what would be nice? See, these are these peppers. These are glorious. What about these? Remember these tomato sandwiches we used to have? The tomato and egg and oh. Oh, you want breakfast. Mm. Honey, nice score. Yes. Okay, thanks for that, hon. I love that every Sunday. A good woman. She goes every down. Every Sunday down the street. Yeah, right down the street. We got a market. We used to go all the time. But Sunday changes now for, for bucking anyway. Because I build, usually build for you guys. Create and build. That's life. I, this is the life I choose, friends. Oh, it's a rough world out there. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, batting down the hatches. The rains are coming. The storms are coming. Diego Sanchez. Remember Diego? <laughs> What a guy. Anyways, I just watched the UFC. It was, it was exciting as hell. Friends, this patch of timber, I want to interject. Um, but before I go there, I wanted to thank you guys again for your positive freaking comments in the, in the, in the videos. Just, 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 and the newcomers. I see you coming in there. Thank you so much. Crazy year coming. Um, hey, this show, no, I'm not going to go there right now. I'll go there another time. Um, Axeman, we might not get it until August. It's in the States. You guys get it July 11th coming out. Me and Hogan are on the show. Uh, we don't get it for a month later, apparently, because we're Canadian. I guess we're a wee bit behind the times, perhaps. Anyway. We're over-regulated. Over over-regulated, yeah. So, uh, friends, this patch, I don't want to maximize it. It, it these, are the, these are the patches of timber you don't... You... See, I grew up in that stuff. I grew up in this stuff. But but these are the patches where if you're on a on a... On a fallen job, it's like, okay, we need to go in here and, and, and de-snagify this place. The, these are the little places that get folks. They are. They just are. They're places that get folks. Uh, and, and again, I'm not here to maximize it for you, but I'm also here to say, don't take these little places for granted. It's flat, pretty flat ground. You look around, this stuff can come over with the vibration of the ground of another tree coming over. Stuff's flying everywhere. Nothing holds on to the stump. So uh, just wanted to interject. And I always like to say hi to you guys. There's a lot of trees going down right now. And I like to get that content. But I also don't like to just go undercut, back cut, undercut, back cut, and Yahoo, the, the, the rock and roll music and the, and, the, and the video's over. I don't like that. I like to explain stuff. And I know you guys are in. I know you are. 
Follow your freaking dreams, friends. Get out there and get after it. Over and out. Talk soon. There is no hole there. There, there is actually no hole for it. Uh, there, there's one over here and it will hang on. I'm going to make it hang on. I'm shooting above that dead balsam there. Kind of, uh, I'm, I'm shooting above that maple. I'm shooting on the right of this dead top. Okay. Like it, it, it could smash through there, son, but it just, then I, you're just creating hangers. Yeah. And more hazard. So I'm going to slip it in the hole. See right to the cedar. See it there. Okay, cool. So that's the plan. I didn't even notice those cedars. Yeah. So always especially with snags and you got to have a getaway because something like that one went back in there it could you know deal friends with this particular tree you could see what it's doing it it's you could see what it's doing it it's it, the house is right here the freaking tree is still probably fairly sound but it is still probably fairly sound but it is dead dead and if i the, what it's got is it's got lean back and this way but i can't just be slamming it into timber so I look for my best hole and I, I don't like the looks of that one over there. Even I don't think that that tree would reach the line if it slapped it over some. I could almost go create a hole there right now for this thing or I ship it down in there. Right? See that little maple? Yeah. Between that snag and that tree, which actually isn't a bad idea right in there. No. You see, because it'll it allow me to use this lean sun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Because it's going that way. 
If I don't, I'm gonna have to bang it, and I don't like the idea of banging this dead wood, even though it, it would come. But I like this idea in there. But I like this idea in there. If I can just get that to hang on enough to get the dead crown on that side of that big alder, right? So I think I'm gonna stay with the stump and try it. Right there. Not a bad shot. You see how that worked? Yeah. You can work the wood. You can't work the wood with a bore cut, friends. You can't do it. Especially in dead wood. That wood, and it was actually fairly sound. It hung on the stump nicely, but I actually played with that tree a couple different times. Yeah, I saw it almost sat back. Well, and Not it, sat it was going right back, but I saw it kind of take a. It did. A it went that way. That way, yeah. That's right, because that's where the lay was. It went that way, so then I took a bit more. But here's the problem the problem if you take too much wood sun back here if you think well i better just take all my bottom wood out then it'll actually it could drop right on off. the kerf and pull this wood right out of yeah. there and it's gone you know what i'm saying and look at the rot there Not so good. i brought the wood in even eh, buddy i brought it in even uh -huh. and and there's the stump so that came out real nice Son, do you want to take a few minutes? I'm going to go swap out saws. Do you want to take a few minutes and crack these logs down? Yeah, sure. That's my plan.
that balsam down. Are you Gary? <coughs> yeah. Line her up. Oh. Hogan's water in the forest. Okay. So we don't want to cut everything that's, that, like this has got a horrible dead top in it, this maple. But I don't want to cut every freaking dead top out of here. Makes no sense. I won't do that. So we're going to see if we can take the maple crown out with this balsam. Go ahead, son. Maple crown out with this thing. Son! Okay, shut that little, off. Little wildlife stem now. It's beautiful. That's what we wanted. Nice shot. I got us again. I'm level. Whoop. Okay. You're back and you, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Sam. I, I know you're, you're on your knee and you're kind of like this. Good job. That was a good looking stump. You cut the tree down. You didn't. Okay, I brought your saw. Oh, sweet. Let's, uh, let's go get that. This is starting to look better. There's another balsam up there, a big one. We, get, we will go get it, but not right now. We're gonna start, let, let's get that thing and that thing. Yeah, the okay. front one first. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. Go chop the front one down first to watch it. That little balsam's kind of funny, but. Here's our uh, 81.
barn a long chain I've had guys ask me how to do this um, you got to make sure you're on your sprocket down there get a good look at this one you got you got to make sure you're on your sprocket so the first thing you do is you look down and make sure you're on your sprocket it's nice to have gloves when you do this but these bars can bend I just choose to go this way I don't know why I just do it, it doesn't matter you can go this way or you can go that way I just find it I don't know why I just go this way it, but and I think what it is is I, I roll better that way so that's the only reason I do that doesn't matter I've been doing it for years that way so you're on your sprocket yes we are now this is what you do Sonny you're way off from no I'm, I'm on okay you can see. okay so take up as much slack as you can see this to, to run the slack as much as you can see it look at it okay depends how loose you are so now that you got that there you put your knee on the bar Come up, start bending the bar with your leg on it, and start turning. But with your thumb, see my thumb, Hogan, right here. As you're flipping this over, and don't you can cut your hand wide open. Stay off of that. Turn, and then hear that flick. Roll, pull, and just roll it on. And then once you get to about that stage right there, see this, like that. You can go like this. And there and you'll have a bad driver which i can see here and bob's your uncle yeah and this may not this may not work um huh maybe it will <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,